dear students now we are going to learn comparison of numbers okay we have already arranged that is smallest six digit number and greatest six digit number and how to arrange and how to put the lesser sign greater sign and equal sign uh, with varied varied digits of numbers let me see okay this also our heading is comparison comparison of numbers okay by using that is lesser sign greater sign and equal sign okay for this let me do some example sums Okay. Let me do that is here observe the count the digits of numbers first. Okay here the left hand side there is a two digit only and our right hand side this is a, it has three digits 105 it has three digits numbers. Basically that is a two digit number is always lesser than three digit number so simple because that is 10 is Okay, 99 is lesser than 100 because 99 it has only 2 digits but 100 it's, it has 3 digits always that is you can already you, uh, you already known that is a 2 digit number is always be lesser than 3 digit number. So that is 99 and 105 here it has 2 digits and this number has 3 digit number. So how to put the sign that is lesser than so 99 is lesser than 105 okay and here observe this first you have to read the number we read the numerals okay for this this is 2000 and here that is 6008 both this number has same number of digits okay it has four digits and 6008 also it has four digits but observe the first number okay here this is 2 and here this is 6 okay by arranging this 2 is less than 6 okay so that is put the lesser sign so 2000 is lesser than 6008 okay you can understand and here both this number looks like similar okay you can observe carefully and some children did mistake this type of sums because here that is 1, 1, 9, 9 and here this is a 1, 9, 9, 10 is miss that is you can mistakenly written this is 1, 9, 19 here 9, 1, 91 but some children read like this both this number because it has also 2, 1 and 2, 9 here and here also 2, 1, 2, 9 so you put equal sign okay carefully read the question now here this is one one so you can't compare each side is the same number and observe the second number nine and nine so second number also same so you can move on to the third number here that is one and here is the nine okay so one is lesser than nine okay so again you put the sign that is 1919 is always be lesser than 1991 let the last two numbers only varied here okay carefully read the number by that is moving from digits from the left so left handed side to right handed so observe this first number here first number and next second second and third one here the third number here is 1 and here is 9 so 9 is always be greater than 1 okay so and here we move on to the next sum that is here thousand and here also thousand both this number has four digit numbers and all these digits are similar here that is left hand side and right hand side so you put the equal sign that is thousand 
here also 1000 so both the numbers are equal so it shows the equality of the numbers on both side okay thus we have comparison that is we can compare the numbers regarding their value and next we move on to the similar to that of ascending order and descending order that is same this is we can compare this number only two numbers here but in ascending order that is increasing order and decreasing order we can compare more than three or four numbers but this same technique okay you can observe the first number otherwise the count the digits and put the sign and arrange one by one that is increasing order means small to big and decreasing order means that is you can write from the bigger number to smaller one let me move on to the next topic that is increasing order and decreasing order that is ascending order descending order okay same that is same technique we can arrange the numbers by this order and arrange right that okay that is our topic is ascending order and descending order okay first we have to see that is ascending order okay ascending means that is smaller number that is otherwise called increasing order so we can arrange the number from small to big that is here small to big number for ascending order okay so that is like this order it goes on okay so starting from 0 and 1 2 like that up to 10 9 okay that is this is a small to big you can understand this because you are in standard that is third and fourth already we have uh, revised in your previous second and first standard portion okay i give one example sum and let me do how to arrange the ascending order number okay for this example sum okay that is okay here that is uh, five numbers but varied in digits okay first that is 900 so it has uh, three digits okay and all other numbers each number has four digit okay let me compare that is always b that is three digit number is lesser than that is four digit number so first start this number okay that is 900 and this is a four digit number starting number so this is a second one and compare this again remaining three numbers here okay so for observe the first number here is a 3 and 7 and 9 so 3 is lesser than remaining these two number so put this 3 and again that 7 and 9 7 is lesser than 9 so this is a fourth one and fifth one so you can arrange this number like this order and put it in the correct increasing order so write down this answer 900 okay next number that is 1000 and 3333 and the fourth number that is 7102 and that is 9919 so this is our answer okay so thus we can arrange the number in our previous uh, technique that is uh, ascending increasing order ordering the number likewise and arrange the whole number in the increasing order and same sum we can arrange this decreasing order how to we arrange that is from our bigger number uh, already we have did the uh, formation of six digit number smallest and greatest we have discussed so like that first number that is 5 4 3 2 1 so the first number it is because it is a biggest number so for this descending order this is a ascending order for descending order okay that is descending means that is big to small 
okay that is big to small means that is zero okay like that from this nine eight seven okay six five four three two one and zero like this manner that is big to small nine is greater than eight eight is greater than seven seven is greater than six and six is greater than five goes on up to zero zero is the least number it's the smallest number so let me do the same question here descending order means that is decreasing order that is from big number to smaller number so first you have to write this number that is answer is for descending order 9919 okay and next that is 7102 and third one that is 3333 and the second one that is 1000 and the final number that is 900 because it has only 3 digits so it is the smallest number so this is a ascending order and descending order of four digit number similar to that of six digit numbers we can do same manner okay for arrangement of numbers you can observe the first uh, first count the digits okay similar to you have you can arrange the six digit number by count the numbers digits each because it is a three digit because it it has four digits so uh, three digit is always be smaller than four likewise that is in six digit number comparison of four digit and six digit you can arrange this ascending order and descending order so let me move on to the next topic that is predecessor and successor that is before number and after number dear students now we move on to the next topic that is predecessor and successor okay pre means before and successor means after okay what comes that is in your uh, standard one first standard you can say like this that is before number what is before and what is after so same uh, topic that is same number of uh, calculation that is in our third standard fourth standard we call it as predecessor and successor pre means before and successor means after okay we can write that that is predecessor okay that is before and the successor that is after okay let me do few example sums okay our question that is here Okay, first, that is the read the numeral. That is one thousand and one. So predecessor means it before. That is thousand. You can write the answer thousand. And successor of this one thousand and one. That is one thousand and two. You can write that is for predecessor. You can that is you have to minus one number of this question. Okay, that is one thousand and one. So you have to subtract one number. That is one thousand and one. Write the question and minus one. For minus one, you have to subtract this number. One minus one zero. Write down the zero. Write down the zero and one. So the answer is thousand. Okay, and similar to the top of our one thousand and one for successor, you have to add that is plus one. Okay, so for successor, because you can do this, that is three digit number or simple numbers, that is ninety nine, one hundred and five, all up to three digit number, you can do this in your mind calculation. That is, you can say easily before and after. But somewhat like this five digit number, more than three digits, you can do this. Okay, plus one. 
addition of one number for predecessor oh sorry successor and for minus one for the predecessor so okay and now we can do this for successor okay so that is a thousand one is the question and for successor you have to add one number for plus one do this that is one plus one two write down the zero write down the zero and one answer is one thousand and two okay and that is you can write this kind of number that is simply three digit number for this seven hundred and ninety one for predecessor that is uh, you can uh, do it by easy technique what is the last two digit number children that is ninety one for before number of ninety one is that is ninety you can write this okay observe this last two digit number children that is ninety one what comes here before ninety one that is ninety and simply put the seven that is seven hundred and ninety it's a predecessor of seven ninety one and same like that is for ninety one what's the next number of ninety one that is ninety two so you can write easily seven hundred and ninety two is the successor okay and for this also you can do this for this last two digit number that is seventy eight so here plus one that is seventy nine that is nine seven one so seventy eight you can write seventy nine so ninety seven thousand one hundred and seventy nine is the predecessor so, uh, that is before number so one seven seven that is a predecessor number for this one hundred and seventy eight what comes before one hundred and seventy seven for this successor you can write this nine seven one seven that is 78 here the successor is the next number for 178 that is 179 and similarly 1007 for this you can write 1006 and one more tip for this because that digits has zero you can that is uh, do like this so minus 1 and plus 1 you can write the answer by avoiding careless mistakes because you have to say that is 1007 before is 1006 and for after number that is 1007 means here 1008 that is by doing that is for predecessor that is you can subtract the number here 1007 minus 1 7 minus 1 6 write down the zero write down the zero and one this is the answer okay so this is a simple technique you can write the answer correctly by doing that is a given number is subtract that is one is subtracted from the given number for successor you can add plus 1 to the given number we can calculate predecessor and successor predecessor means before and successor means nothing but after number okay